I think it would be safe to say that we're obsessed with our ducks. We find them endlessly entertaining. Now we have chickens too, but they don't hold the same fascination for us as the ducks. One of the main reasons why we got animals in the first place is to clear this field for planting so that we can alternate these two lots between animals and crops. So with that goal in mind, we've actually acquired some more animals of our own, purchasing some chickens in addition to the ducklings that we had. Okay. And we've gotten pretty adept at vaccinating them since that's part of the process that we need to follow. Can you put it over? We now have a total of 42 birds on our property, including 17 ducks and 25 chickens. But what are we feeding all these birds? Yes, they're supposed to be eating the grass and the bugs and the seeds and the weeds and clearing this land, but that's not all we're giving them. So naturally, we are supplementing their diet with the standard corn. We have both whole corn and cracked corn, and they really enjoy that. We have a lot of younger birds that we've not yet determined the gender of, and the younger birds definitely get the cracked corn. The birds get really excited when they see us come out. Even if we've just come to collect eggs, they think we're there to bring them food. It can be difficult at times even to walk because they get right in front of us, anticipating whatever food we might be bringing them. They're definitely a lot of fun. So we don't want to be spending a lot of money on purchasing grain for our birds. We're trying to supplement their diet with other things, such as lettuce and cabbage from our garden. Really any extra produce that we can spare. Here's the cauliflower that came from the field. And we purchased a 100 pound bag of potatoes for only $5. We've been cooking the food for them in our instant pot. We had an abundant sweet potato harvest, and they got the scraps. Now that the scraps are gone, we've really been sharing a lot of our sweet potatoes with them. Some really nice ones, actually. But they don't keep long, and we've already given a lot of them to friends and neighbors. So we've fed them zucchini, beets, sweet potatoes, white carrots, cauliflower, anything extra that we might have. And once I had my own harvest of beans, I gave them the beans that I had that were purchased. Now, in addition to all of this, we're trying to give them back the calcium from their own eggs. So we're saving the eggshells. I bake them in the oven for 10 minutes and then grind them down into a powder and add it into their food. Of all the things we feed them, they seem to be especially excited about the vegetables that we cook for them in the Instant Pot. Now this has included pasta, rice, potatoes, as I've already mentioned, the sweet potatoes, cauliflower, beets, any kind of extra thing that we think will be difficult for them to eat in its raw state because it's too hard, we've been cooking down. We've also had some very large zucchinis that we've added to that. And these little ducklings, the 15 little ducklings that we started with, have really grown and thrived on this diet. Time will tell how it affects the egg production. But with the adult animals that we have that are laying eggs, we've noticed that our egg production has been on the rise. So we think we must be doing something right. Of course, they get all of our garden scraps 
we've been harvesting a lot of broccoli and cauliflower lately, and they get all the big leaves from the plants. And they do enjoy that. It's very much an adventure for us with our ducks on our farm. And we look forward to many years with these animals.